Thank you, Chairman. I would also like to thank Sages for the opportunity to present our work today. This was actually research that was done in San Diego, and I'm back in Cologne now for my chief year in residency. I have no disclosures. It has been shown for large tumor operations that high hospital volume has a protective influence on postoperative patient outcomes. And even if the influence of high volume on postoperative mortality post-esophagectomy is still debated in some actual publications, high-risk subgroups have been clearly defined. High age, comorbidities, and tumor entity are currently the most important clinical prognostic factors for postoperative outcome. The introduction of minimally invasive techniques in esophageal surgery resulted in a significant drop of perioperative mortality in the last decade. The aim of this current study was first to evaluate if different patient subgroups really have different outcomes and to analyze perioperative mortality in these subgroups based on hospital volume. As hospital volume has not been sufficiently been analyzed in this context, our second outcome of measure was to answer the question whether low volume subgroups exist that do not need treatment at a specialized center. We recently published a nomogram for patients undergoing esophagectomy in which high hospital volume was shown to be a significant factor to lower perioperative mortality. In our study, we were able to confirm previous research with a very large patient collective that the laparoscopic approach is a protective factor for mortality and that high age, comorbidities, and squamous cell carcinoma are independent predictors of mortality. We were surprised by the result that low hospital volume had a similar effect on postoperative mortality as hepatic disease. This resulted in the same score of three for low hospital volume, age over 75, and hepatic disease in our newly developed scoring system. Based on these data, high-risk procedures such as esophagectomy should be performed in specialized centers. However, there is mounting evidence to suggest that clinical outcomes of patients who undergo the same treatment are variable depending on the patient subgroup studied, a phenomenon called heterogeneity of treatment effect. This effect occurs when patient factors modify a treatment's effect on health outcomes due to interactions between these factors and the treatment. We used a nationwide inpatient sample for our research, which is a 20% sample of hospital discharge record across 46 states of the US. We used ICD-9 diagnoses and procedure code to include patients with esophageal cancer who underwent transthoracic or transhiatal esophagectomy, either laparoscopic or open. Patients who were less than 18 years old or who had um, peritoneal disease were excluded from our study, and our main outcome of measure was in-hospital mortality. All two varied logistic regression analyses were performed to identify independent predictors of in-hospital mortality. The effects of hospital case volume were studied in three groups, low volume, intermediate volume, and high volume. Patients were then analyzed by subgroup to determine if the mortality rate differed depending on the subset analyzed. From 1998 to 2011, over 23,000 patients were included in our study. Our overall in-hospital mortality was 7.7% with a large variation of from 4 to 11% depending on our subgroups. Two-thirds of the patients underwent surgery at a center that performed less than 20 esophageic esophagectomies for malignancy per year. This is our multivariate analysis. It's interesting to note that high age, African American race, and comorbidities were independent predictors of mortality, whereas Asian race and private insurance were protective factors. For the non-biological covariates, procedures performed after 2002 and laparoscopic procedures were protective, whereas presence of SCC in low hospital volume were independent predictors of mortality. No lower su risk subgroup for surgery in a lower volume center could be identified when compared to a high volume center. Mortality in low-volume hospitals was elevated when compared to high-volume hospitals in certain subsets. High age, males, Caucasians, Asians, and those with a high burden of comorbidities. We had similar findings when outcomes of those who underwent surgery in an intermediate-volume hospital were compared to those in high-volume centers, but the effect was less pronounced. 
Notably, there were no significant differences in mortality between subgroups, as the confidence intervals of each patient subset overlap with, with each other. In conclusion, we believe that mortality is decreased following esophagectomy in high volume centers. And mor the mortality is not significantly different when patient subsets are compared to each other. And we were not able to identify a low risk patient subset that could safely undergo surgery in a lower volume center. This data supports the recommendation that all patients with esophageal cancer should undergo treatment at a referral center, which is especially important for the high risk subgroups. Thank you very much.